classic 1920s American crime fiction is an anthology of five crime and detective novels, edited by Leslie S. Klinger. In addition to the full text of the stories, the book also contains Klinger's annotations, photographs, and maps, and an introduction by detective writer Otto Penzler. The five books included in classic 1920s American crime fiction are as follows. A House Without a Key, a 1925 novel by Earl Der Biggers, introduces the character of Charlie Chon, a Chinese-American detective based in Hawaii. The book contains detailed descriptions of Hawaiian culture and society as it existed in the 1920s. The plot concerns the murder of Dan Winterslip, a wealthy member of Boston society who has moved to Hawaii. When Dan is killed, his nephew John and sister Minerva call on Charlie to help them find the killer. Charlie finds number three at the crime scene, having fallen from his wristwatch, and knows he is looking for the killer with the broken watch. John helps him solve the case by finding out the identity of the killer. After learning more about Hawaii, John falls in love with the place. Eventually, at the end of the book, he breaks off the engagement and moves to Hawaii permanently. The Benson Murder Case, 1926, is the first book in S.S. Van Dyne's Philo Vance series. Philo is inspired by Sherlock Holmes and the novels are supposedly written by a character named Van Dyne who acts as a Watson-like figure. A wealthy New York stockbroker is murdered in his own home minutes before his friend Philo visits him. When the police arrive, Philo volunteers to help them catch the killer. Although he has no experience in law enforcement, Philo is a gifted psychologist, able to determine the appearance of a killer based on evidence at the scene. With the help of his friend, District Attorney Markham, Philo interrogates five suspects who were romantically or business related to the victim. He must find out not only who committed the murder, but also how the killer did it in the locked house. The Roman Hat Mystery, 1929, is the first of Ellery Queen's classic detective novels. New York City detective Richard Quinn is called to investigate the death of attorney Monty Field, who was poisoned during a play. Richard is assisted by his author son Ellery. They soon learn that Monty was blackmailing his clients, some of whom were in the audience at the play and could have committed the crime. Monty's hat is missing, leading Ellery to believe that blackmail papers were hidden in it. During the Queen's investigation, they eventually discover that the killer killed Monty because he threatened to reveal to the killer's fiancé that he was a half-breed. Once Ellery establishes the suspect's guilt, Richard forces him to confess. Dashiell Hammett's Red Harvest was first published in 1929. Time magazine named it one of the best English-language novels from 1923 to 2005. A Continental operative, a member of the Continental Detective Agency, arrives in Personville to help rid the city of organized crime. He falls in love with Dinah Brand, the mistress of one of the local mob bosses, but Dinah is killed for revealing too much. Oper becomes a suspect in her death. Pursued by the police, he is abandoned by his partner, Dick Foley. While on the run, he manipulates various gangs into fighting each other. The gang leaders kill each other as well as the corrupt police chief. Oper calls in the National Guard, who impose martial law on the city until the rest of the corrupt officials are eradicated. In W.R. Burnett's Little Caesar, 1929, the main character Rico is a young gangster who seizes control of his crime syndicate when its leader, Sam Vettori, is killed in a robbery. Rico has the will and ambition to lead the gang. He is supported by fellow gang member Otero and gentleman Joe Masara, but opposed by Tony Passa. After Tony crashes his getaway car during another crime, he runs from the gang and is taken in by his mother. He plans to talk to the priest about leaving his life of crime, but Rico intercepts him before he can do so, shooting him to death on his church steps. The book ends with Rico thinking about how precarious his position as leader is and how vulnerable he is now to the people who want to take the gang away from him. I hope you enjoyed this video leave a like if you did and be sure to subscribe thank you.